everybody. Uh, we um, we're here today to answer some questions uh, from Ben T Rex Space Station, who has a bunch of community questions that he asks. Uh, and he's looking into our collections. He wants to see uh, games that we, you know, uh, don't normally show or that we have something special with. Or And he asks questions to lure us out of our games rooms and pull those games out and show them and talk about them. So I think that's a, it's a good thing. I've done a few, uh, not all, I think, uh, or maybe I have, I don't remember. But this one was... Uh, uh, I actually made a list, made a list to, uh, with everything. And, uh, I, I even, uh, recorded some footage that I'm going to show to answer the first question. First question is, um, a game that I've never showed on YouTube, uh, a while ago, um, Stephen Richards, uh, Mr. Uh, Retro on Limb, uh, sent not just me but i i guess others as well um uh a game on steam now i can't show it because of course it's a steam game uh but it's um uh, made by flump studios and uh paul marable is uh it's 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 an indie developer making a making games they've made a couple of games already that i that I hadn't heard of before. Uh, there's a couple of here. There's Horizon Shift. Uh, there's Pester. There is Pressured. There is Super Killer Hornet Resurrection. Um, this game was sent to the Retro on Limb staff to view and review, and I, I meant to do a, a review of it, um, but I haven't done it. And I've, none, I've never even spoken about the game. So that's a game um, that I'd like to mention uh, for this question. The cool thing about this game, I think, is that it's, uh, it's a twin stick shooter. It's a platforming game. It's uh, a regular shooter. Um, it, it has many elements combined into one game, which I think is pretty unique. It has a, a sort of a neonish uh, style to it, so that it's it's very um, uh, uh, clinical almost. I mean, it's not a beautiful game, but it has like the pumping music. It's, it's sort of in the style of um, uh, uh, Geometry Wars. You know, it's kind of a clinical style and. Uh, that's something that you may find beautiful, of course. I mean, I, I find it pleasing to look at, but it's not like artistically, I mean, uh, not realistic. Maybe that's what I'm trying to but sort of Tron-like futuristic style. But the gameplay is actually very interesting. Uh, and I haven't get, gotten very far in it because it's it's pretty difficult to get the jumping right while you're shooting enemies in coming from all directions. So um, that's definitely a game. Uh, that I wanted to show, um, and I recommend playing. I mean, if, if you're, uh, it's, it's it's sort of a casual game that you'll pick up and try, and you'll die and die and die again. And and uh, again, I haven't gotten very far in it yet, but I'm not so good at these kinds of games. But I, I'm sure that if you are, you'll enjoy the hell out of it uh, because it's. It's very well made and it deserves your attention. So that is a game that I've never shown on YouTube. Next question is, uh, show us a game with Disney characters in it. Now, um, the funny thing is that the first thing that comes to mind is, uh, is Kingdom Hearts and Kingdom Hearts 2 on the PlayStation 2, which uh, I have and I played and I, I thought was mildly interesting but not as good as as i thought it would be when i when i watched reviews of it and uh, so i'm not going to show that one i've heard it mentioned a couple of times already but i have not seen anyone actually show the game <laughs> just a typical uh, disney uh, uh characters filled game of course but i decided to show a game that i've 
had in my in my collection for a while and that I've played and it and although it it it's a a kids game or it's supposed to be a kids game it's actually very well done I guess it's supposed it's, it's supposed I guess it's built on an engine that that has been used for other games as well because it's uh, it's this game the jungle book uh, on the super NES of course Mowgli is definitely uh a Disney character and all, you know, the bear and the tiger and all this. It's a very, very enjoyable game. Uh, graphically, very attractive. Uh, the controls are very good. Of course, the Super NES uh, makes the sound uh, very good, which I, which I'm very fond of. So, um, and uh, again, I, I played this t this game a long time ago, and I don't give my Super NES enough uh, time. Um, although I really enjoy it, and then I have a couple of games for it, and this is one of them, and one of, one that I actually uh, that I've actually played, not that much, but uh, it's 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 a funny story. I mean, this is this is a movie that I can go back to, you know. This is a and it's it's like an old. This is an old movie, but I remember I just saw the. The snake, I forget their names, but the, it's actually a funny movie. Thinking about it, the scene where he, you know, falls asleep in the tree and the the snake is trying to uh, hypnotize him. And and then I think the tiger comes along and grabs him by the throat. <laughs> That's a funny, uh, funny movie in a good game. Uh, and you don't see that all the time, you know, uh, a game, uh, movie related... Uh, uh, games aren't always good. This one is. The next question is uh, an exclusive game. So a game that is exclusive to a certain console. Now, uh, that I found quite hard because I don't uh, keep track of uh, what is exclusive on which console or not. Um, of course, I, you know, the there's the... Uh, um, like the the Gran Turismo titles and uh, uh, the Tomb Raider thing, but there's a lot of titles that I don't know, and, and I'd have to look actually at lists of what is um, exclusive to a, a console, uh, and then see if I have that in, in my collection. So. I didn't want to do that, and I, I chose to go with something that is a bit of a cheat, um, and I'll explain why. I wanted to show Pickaxe Pete for the video pack. And the cheat is uh, basically that this game is also available for the Odyssey, the Odyssey 2, uh, which is... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> uh, which is the same console, but not. So I'm I'm entering this as the exclusive game. Um, there are actually games that are on this console that are not exclusive. Probably uh, uh, games like Frogger, uh, games like Terra Hawks. Uh, they are not exclusive. Not every uh, not everything on this. Uh, even the racing game. Um, that's so general that it's not very exclusive. This game, Pickaxe Pete, is exclusive, and I thought I'd show it. I don't know if 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 all of you know this game, but I used to play this a lot. It's a very simple game. It's sort of a platformer, and you have to uh, get a key and. Uh, to the exit, to the next level, which is the same but harder. Uh, and then there are boulders rolling down and you have a pickaxe that you can chop the um, uh, the boulders with, but you, uh, the pickaxe breaks and you have to pick up another one and you have to jump. And it's actually a good game, as many games on this platform are actually good games. Pickaxe Pete. Great stuff. Um... A game set in the past. That's a good one because I found out thinking about this as most games that I play 
are actually either in this time or in the future. But games that play in the past, I think that's a good question because, I, of course, I, I have, I have a couple of games that that do that. But apparently, I just gravitate unconsciously towards games that are in the now or in the future. Um, and I didn't care to think that through very much. Uh, but I did find a game that I enjoyed very much that I finished. Um. And I am going to play again because it's so good, and that's Sniper Elite 3. I could have picked any of the Sniper Elite games. Uh, Sniper Elite V2 I could have played, which is uh, which takes um, us to World War II, as does, uh, does this game. This takes us to World War II, uh, but in Africa. Um Sniper Elite 4 is underway, uh, which is going to take us to the same period, but in Italy. Um, great stuff. I've, I had so much fun with this game. I uh, I know people who, who finished this game in like two days. I, I took much, much longer, but my play style is uh, to be very stealthy, and I spent so much time trying to not be seen by the German soldiers uh, that it just took me a long time and uh, but I enjoyed it longer and it doesn't mean that people who spent less time with it didn't enjoy, enjoy it as much but this game you can't say oh I it's a 60 hour game no it, it, it depends totally on on how you play it it's not really open world. It's just like sections that are open, but and it's not super linear, but also a little bit. But I, I really, really like this game. And I like the entire Sniper Elite series. Um, and I, I played it on PS3, and I'm holding it up for PS4 because I liked it so much that I bought it for the PS4, and I intend to play it again. Although I do not expect the graphical differences to be so great, uh, but the game is just nice. It's a good game. Uh, games that made me think. Now, that was sort of a double question, um, or I had double answers in my head. I uh, I could have uh, picked a puzzle game uh, like The Seventh Guest. I can remember uh, one of the puzzles, like the chess puzzle, that I, 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 I played that game in my head without actually having a computer. I just sat on my bed and, and, and took cardboard and, and coins and stuff and tried to work out uh, the problem. Uh, so I was that game really made me think, just to solve the puzzles, uh, which is nice, but I, I, I can't show the game because I don't have a physical copy of it. I don't even have an electronic copy of it. Um, but that's not the kind of thinking that I wanted to talk about because I'm going to, and I almost have to, hold up uh, this game, I'm holding up the original Elite, but I really want to hold up uh, Elite Dangerous, which I don't have anything physical for, because, again, it's an electronic game. Um, but this game has made me think, um, and it's it's I've, I've been thinking about how to convey what I, what I mean with this, but uh, when... This game made me think about our place in the universe and how how small um, we are and how vast the distances are. And I can totally imagine that the first astronaut standing on the moon must have been overwhelmed with this uh, with this feeling of of uh, actually realizing the distance. I mean. Elite tries to be as realistic as possible. Um, but one thing that they had to uh, change, of course, is the uh, the velocity at which you travel through space. Because if you match that with reality, it would take forever to get anywhere. So, But then, as you leave, say, uh, uh, our own star the sun 
uh, and you fly towards Earth, or you start from Earth and you fly towards uh, other planets in our solar system, <coughs> if you limited your speed to one time the speed of light, you actually get a sense for how long it would take light to travel that distance. And that is very long. It takes a very long time, a relatively very long time, to go from the planet Earth to the moon or from planet Earth to Mars. And then you're traveling at one time the light speed. Now, to overcome this within the game, uh, you can travel many times the light speed. So it's called Super Cruise, and you can, you know, uh, travel to Mars in minutes, but you go at 400 times the speed of light. So just imagine that, just, just, to just travel within our own solar system, you have to travel at 400 times the speed of light, and you're just sitting there waiting for your ship to arrive at your, at your destination within the solar system. And that gives you a sense of scale and a sense of, you know, where uh, I, I hear people on the internet fantasizing about uh, aliens coming from other solar systems uh the, you know it's almost ludicrous to think that if you have to fly at 4 or 500 times the speed of light to reach mars within a reasonable amount of time uh if you traveled uh to other solar systems within elite you have to you know go into uh you know do a hyper jump and you go at like thousands of times the light speed for several minutes uh, sometimes or for, you know, half a minute or a minute. Uh, it's, it's called witch space in the, uh, in, in the original uh, game. And you end up in another solar system. And if you zoom out to the, to the galaxy, uh, you, you've traveled like, this distance very small distance so if you wanted to go to the center of the galaxy you know that's like 20 or 30,000 light years that you have to travel and it it just gave me such a sense of um yeah i don't know how to how to say but walking around on this planet and looking up at the sky i'm thinking okay just because i've been an elite i've sort of gained a, a, a respect for the for the actual time it would take to travel that distance uh, so that that is something that has made me think and i'm thinking as i speak so a game that's made me think is elite is definitely besides giving me hours and hours of fun because i've been playing that game for years uh it still is awe-inspiring uh to think that you can virtually travel to every place uh in the galaxy uh in a in a much better way than no man's sky attempts to do uh, but that's beside the question <laughs> <coughs> so those were my five uh, answers uh ben thank you very much for asking those cool questions and um thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye